Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jen and this is Farabee. And today we're gonna to talk to you about how to act whenever you see a service dog. So this is basically things not to do whenever you see a service dog. But before we get started, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who's joining us today. Also, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and we'll get started. If you see a service dog out in public, don't let your dog run up to them. It doesn't matter if your dog is so, so sweet. It doesn't matter what reason you have. There's no reason that your dog should be distracting my dog in public. So it doesn't matter if it's you distracting a service dog, your kid distracting a service dog, your dog distracting a service dog. It's all distractions and it all goes in that same little pot of do not distract a service dog. If you see a service dog out in public, do not take pictures of them. Don't ask if you can take pictures of them. Don't stop the person and say, oh my God, I just have to have a picture because it's awkward and it's just weird. Like, no, don't, don't do that. It's rude. And I know people don't mean it rude, but you would be amazed at how many times I'm stopped on a daily basis if we're out, even in our neighborhood, even we'll just be going for a walk in our neighborhood. And people stop and be like, oh my God, I have to have a picture. People will pull up beside us, like walking down the road now and say, oh, I need to take a picture. And it's like, it's not, can I? It's not, oh, I'd like to. It's people coming at you like this <laughs> with their phone. And they're like, just like pointing it at you. Um, yeah, so it's just weird. So don't do that. Whether, I don't care if it's a service dog or not, don't, don't do that. It's, it's rude and it's weird. So that's why you see service dogs with logos like this on them that specifically say not to take pictures, don't pet, don't talk to them. It's because we get asked all the time if people can take a picture or touch them or whatever. Something to consider is if you would not need to approach this person in the first place, then don't approach them because they have a dog. So if you would not just come up to them randomly in the grocery store for whatever reason, if they were by themselves, don't do it if they have a dog with them. You are being rude, and I know people don't mean to be rude, but that's what it is, you're being rude. Basically, you are saying, oh, you know, because you have medical equipment with you, I feel like I can just talk to you because of whatever. So if you see a service dog team in public, don't ask what the dog's name is, don't ask if you can pet the dog, don't ask what the dog's job is, don't ask if they're in training, don't ask if the person who has them is a dog trainer, don't say, oh, so I assume that you train dogs for a living. I have that said to me a lot because I look like there's nothing wrong with me, and by someone saying that, then I have to say, oh no, she's for me, and then they say, oh, well, what does she do for you? and then you're getting into medical questions, which is none of your business. So a good general rule would be if you would not do something to a stranger's child, then don't do it to a service dog. Don't do kissy noises at them. Don't make sounds at them to get their attention. Don't try to get their attention off of their handler. Just like you wouldn't try to get a small child's attention off of their parent, you wouldn't want to do that to a service dog either. Obviously it's different reasons. One is just creepy, <laughs> but the other for service dogs obviously is because you could Put someone's life at risk by doing that so just ignore them act like they're not there just like you would a small child if you see a service dog out in public you don't have to tell their handler how cute they are we already know and we love them and we know they're adorable and we hear it we hear it a lot we hear it all the time pretty much any time we see somebody they tell us how cute our dog is and how lucky we are to have them with us and how fun it must be to have a dog with you all the time. And I love having therapy with me. I really, really do. She's my best friend. And I depend on her for pretty much everything. I depend on her for my freedom. I depend on her, you know, to be able to do things. But it's not necessarily like all fun and games to take your dog with you all the time. So what you're really saying when you tell someone, oh, you're so lucky to have a service dog with you all the time, you're really saying you're so lucky that you have a disability, that something bad happened to you, that you were born with a difference that makes you not be able to function in normal life without having medical equipment with you all the time. 
The only lucky part about having a service dog is that, you know, maybe you were able to afford one or maybe you were able to put in the time to train one like I was. So that would be the lucky part and you're lucky that you got a dog that actually would work with you. But you're not lucky that you need to have medical equipment with you all the time. So if you see a service dog out in public and it doesn't look like it's working, it's still not okay to bother them. If they're with their handler, they're working, period. So this is kind of random. Don't run up and touch somebody with a dog. Um, if they have a service dog with them, don't just come up and like gently touch them on the arm and be like, whatever you have to say. That is weird. I don't know why someone would do that to anyone, but don't do that. If it is someone that you're touching that has like PTSD or something from a violent event, you are putting your safety at risk. That's not cool. Don't just run up and grab somebody. So a really good thing to keep in mind is service dogs are medical equipment. So if you wouldn't interact with someone's wheelchair or their cane or prosthetic leg or oxygen tank, you probably shouldn't interact with a service dog either. Don't blow your horn whenever you see a service dog walking down the side of the road and be like, oh my God, it's so cute. We've had this happen. I'm not even playing with you. At least four times, people will blow their freaking horn and like wave like it's a fucking parade. And it's like, what the hell are you doing? It makes me immediately about going to an episode. The other thing is you're scaring the bejesus out of my dog because all of a sudden we're just like walking like down the road and all of a sudden someone starts beeping their horn like a lunatic to wave and tell you your dog is cute. Don't beep your horn unless it's an emergency. Basically don't beep your horn to say hi to someone you don't know. That's freaking crazy and it it's scary. It's really scary, so don't do that. If you see a service dog out in public, do not ask if your kid can pet the dog. The answer is probably gonna be no. I feel like it's really awkward if someone says, oh my God, my little girl just loves dogs. Can she please pet your dog? Because I have to tell you no. It would take attention off of me. It would make her possibly think that she can interact with other people and she can't. Um, I feel like this is probably the rule for a lot of service dogs. So just don't ask, keep walking, keep going. Just pretend you don't see us. All right guys, so that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, let me know if you feel like I left anything out. Also leave the video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and share this with people you know who don't have service dogs. Um, that's the people who are really gonna benefit from this video the very most are people without service dogs because that way they know how to act around service dogs, which makes people with disabilities lives a little bit easier. So we appreciate you being here and we will see you soon. Bye guys.